Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever. Well, yes. What it isn't is Transport Fever Peninsula because but that's all broken. And uh, I'm going to try and fix it. I haven't quite given up yet, but I'm about to give up. Uh, so today, you've got another episode of Fixed with Failure. And, uh, and we've been contacted by, uh, by Amy, who is uh, having a spot of bother uh, with her freight on, the, uh, on this random generation map. And uh, we're currently following a bit of the freight as it gets stuck on quite a lot of signals uh, moving through town here. Now, if I understand her dilemma correctly, and I believe I do, uh, she's had to sell up pretty much everything that she's got here in 1935 in order to just stay afloat at all. And, uh, and so I'm gonna try and, uh, try and make things a little bit more shiny. This is, this is quite scenic, isn't it? Yeah, let's do a bit of bombastic intro and then we'll, we'll cut to the chase. Now, of course, you can say cut to the chase as many times as you like, but we're still stuck here and time is ticking away. Uh, it's, it's ticking away in, t in those certain terms. Let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look and see exactly what it is that we're waiting for. So, ah, we, we appear to be waiting for this clown to come out of here. You're trying to get up there, or are you? Yes, you are. You very clearly are. You're trying to come out this way. That's fine. Uh, you've got a passenger train waiting to go through there. Yes, I've got a little bit of cash. Let's uh, let's let's shuffle one along a little bit. Uh, I'm going to want to create a bypass here at some point. Um, no, no, that was that was still a that was still a no go. Interesting. What's uh, what's occurring here? Quite why this has been given right away is beyond me. This chap could have zipped through ages ago. But hey, I you know ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to figure it out and make it work properly. Uh, so you've got a wood plank situation, and I think uh, rather than looking at the trains, which, I mean, it's a lot of fun, but uh, ooh, we're, we're running modless, just so you know, which is why it's all a little more smoky than usual. Um, right, okay, let's have a look at the state of play as the state of play currently exists. So, to the start of the chain, and I've had a quick look at this, so, so bear with me if I... Uh, if I get things in the wrong order. Uh, we're going to pick up lumber from here on the uh, wood to planks line, uh, which is going in orange, which doesn't quite show up brilliantly. That's going to switch to a slightly bolder yellow there. Uh, so the uh, the wood to planks line is that which we were just looking at, which it zips up here, you know, in a mostly straight line kind of a fashion, uh, before going through Tidworth, which is where we're getting held up in traffic, uh, before hitting the Tidworth Annex there to be turning to planks. Okay, good. Uh, and then once we've got the planks, where do we take them? Uh, well, uh, you, whoa, there's, there's a question. Uh, well, no, the planks come back with us. Oh, lovely. Uh, carrying, uh, carrying planks, uh, a full load of cargo in both directions. Nice money to be made there. Uh, so we come back down to Hornsey South, and then the planks go from Hornsey to Yarm. Yarm, indeed. Uh, yeah, okay, red's, red's good enough. So Yarm is down this way a little bit. And uh, so down this way a little bit more. And uh, keep going. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, still down this way some more. So it's down here a bit, as you can plainly see. It's uh, Keep going. Uh, down all the way to Yarm, which is right here, uh, where it is turned into tools, which are then distributed. Let's have a look. Uh, you've got goods going to Ilki. <clears throat> which we passed on the way. Uh, Ilki is right there. Uh, so there's there's your tools being dropped off. And that's it. That's your distribution all set there. <clears throat> yes. Okay, right, fine. Uh, once they get here, where do we actually end up going? Just to Ilki. So are we going through all this palaver just to distribute goods to Ilki? I wonder... We don't appear to have any local distribution going on here. So, uh, so if anything, apart from the, uh, the, the hold-ups in terms of traffic that we've got going on, uh, the, other, the additional problem is that we're not actually distributing to very many places at all. And if I judged that train correctly that was leaving from the, the traffic snark... I mean, look. I mean, look at the, the length we're going here. So we head from there up to here, bring them back again. That's kind of cool. That works. Uh, and then whiz them down almost the entire length of this map to get them turned into tools. Presumably there are closer alternatives available. 
Uh, well, let's have, a, let's have a look, shall we? I mean, I, I would imagine there are. Uh, you've got... So what would we want? We'd want lumber near here. Am I seeing anything on the map right now? No. But then, uh, but then sometimes it is a smidge difficult to see wood for the trees. But what we do have here is... Here's your planks, and there's a tool maker. So we could have run tool making just out of here. Now, obviously, uh, making tools uh, plenty of distance away is, you know, delivering goods that far is, means it's going to pay off really rather nicely. The downside, of course, is that that train, I think, was moving at uh, probably less than walking speed. And what are you doing? You're doing... No, you're just... No, you're a passenger train. I'm looking at the wrong bit. Oh, well, you know, it wouldn't be the first time, though, would it? Well, probably not. Uh, right, so you've got there's there's a planks run. Where's that lumber train that we were looking at a minute ago? Because uh, you've got two moving upstream here. He must have passed Tidworth by now. I've been yammering on for a couple. Of, here we go. Look at this. Right, what are we doing? Ten miles per hour. Okay, uh, that's that's going to be a problem. Um, doing doing ten miles per hour on this route is going to be a big problem. Uh, you, I mean, you've got a nice full cargo, but it's going to take years, plural, for it to actually arrive. Uh, and then, here comes the other one that was queuing to get in, which is already doing, you know, near double the speed. And uh, it's going to get held up the entire way. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, let's, let's ramify, ramificate. No, let's rectify that immediately. Because otherwise we're just going to be waiting for yonks for that to arrive. So we'll uh, we'll just plunk in, and it's not exactly necessary. No, choose the right thing. My goodness, this moves quickly when you haven't got any mods installed. And then uh, and then the other benefit, of course, you get is that your save game doesn't disappear into the ether because someone decides, oh, I'm going to take my mod down. You know, oh, cheers for that. Thanks. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, right now then, you. Go to the depot, get yourself sold. I know you've got a full load of cargo there and it's worth a lot of money, but uh, I don't wish to grow old before we see that money. It's, uh, you know, that's just a, just a thing there that, uh, that I think may be beneficial. Now, this might hold us up a little, actually, because this, uh, this Barden here, Baden, I'm going to go with Barden. Let's be consistent. I'm gonna go, this Barden is, uh, is probably not going to turn that around fast enough. Uh, to make much of an impact. I'm going to need something with a little bit more punch to get that through. We're going to want to alleviate the uh, the traffic problems that are going on. And we're going to want to uh, line up a little bit more end distribution to make that work as well. Now look, I, I haven't... See, look, that's the kind of speed I want you getting sold at. I don't think it was worth very much. How much was it worth? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, sold vehicles, 185k. Yeah, not... Not an epic amount of money there, but this this guy can now move unhindered uh, by the slower, older technology, and uh, and that will uh, that will pay off presently. Right now, then, what are we going to fix first? Well, we want to keep demand up. I mean, frankly, I'd quite like to stick another train on this route pretty much immediately. Uh, where are we? 1935. Yeah, what I'd most like to do uh, would be to put something with a heck of a lot of horsepower. Uh, on this uh, line, in order to uh, in order to make things go a bit uh, a bit quicker. However, for now, what if one were to uh, to bypass the town? Because looking at the station, it's going to be very costly to uh, to stick a kind of third sort of transit track in there. We're going to need to keep that level. Yes, you're going to wipe out your whole budget doing this. So, uh, building a tunnel underneath that, that would work out just fine. Perilously expensive, however. Uh, what about going the other way? So, cross over the track, come out this way. No, you've still got a bit of hillside there. Not very much, but uh, no, we'll we'll save that for a few minutes' time because it only gets held up for a little bit, of, for a, you know, a couple of seconds at a at a, at a run. Uh, we'll uh, we will activate super high speed uh, turbo edition. However, now then, when you look at this bit, we've also got this wicked S bend here going going S, and that's 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 also quite exciting. Now we're running a mixed consist because presumably you're trying to bring some goods up here, but you haven't brought anything at all. Yes. Okay, so you're going. 
well, surely you should have taken some plank. There are no plank waiting. So you're going to run empty all the way back there. Uh, okay. That's that's not uh, that's not brilliant, is it? I'll, I'll I'll give you the answer to that now. It's not brilliant, but you're also you're, you're also sending half the goods to uh, to Ilki so that they can be distributed. And what's that actually looking like? What do we got here, vehicle wise? We've got two fifty five year old horses and carts. Yeah, let's let's up the tempo on that. There'll be something relatively modern we can use. Uh, let's put the opal on this this job. There you go. Replace now. Get on with it. There you go. That should that should make a bit of an impact uh, for starters. Um, right now, I'm, what we're after fundamentally is a bit of quick cash. Uh, we've got eight million, but I want to upgrade to electric uh, as much of the route as possible so that I can get a little bit more stuff flowing a little bit more quickly. You're going to Ilki. Well, but what about that mixed consist planks train? What was what was that caper all about then? Because you're not you're not hauling planks at all. Uh, you're literally just hauling goods, so you're you're not actually going to be that cost effective. Um, right, you're doing planks from Yarm to to Horn to Yarm. Yeah, I think we change. I think we change up your consist there, Tiny. Uh, let's uh, let's try that and uh, replacement. Right, so there's the Barden, which is seven seven and a bit million. Now, I reckon we've probably still got some equity in this vehicle. How old is it? Yes, two years old. Um, in fact, we've got two trains on there with different consists. Oh, I see. I, I, yeah, I get what you're trying to do here. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, well, how am I going to fix that? Uh, do we go electric on here? What sort of distance are we talking about? This is the big one, isn't it? This is the this is the really long one. So what we want is something quick, and uh, and liable to uh, to be able to haul stuff at, at a at a good lick. You're currently doing 38, which no, that's not awful, and you're doing 27, which is slightly more awful. Um, right. Okay. Right. Well, look. Let's electrify this sucker, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll bang an electric number, even if it's just a crocodile. Uh, that will that will make a bit of a difference, uh, and uh, and then I might sell one of the trains, electrify the other one, up the capacity on it, and uh, and see about uh, about making a bit of progress that way. Now the good news about electrification is it's not massively expensive. Uh, it's I mean it's it's not free, uh, but we should be able to come away from this having only spent I don't know, 150 grand, 200 grand, something like that. Uh, so we're, we're not going to burn through every last penny that we've got. Now, if I was building this myself, or if this was my save, <clears throat> what I'd be inclined to do would be to switch up uh, the uh, the routes overall to use all of the closer stuff uh, and just get it rolling. But we're going to, uh, you know, as a as a bit of a challenge. I say challenge. It's it's just a, a little bit of a. Can I? Could I please upgrade this piece of line here? I know it's a terrible imposition, but uh, all right, let's wait for the train to get out of the way. It's a nice shot of the train, I suppose. But if you would, yeah, come on, get out of the way. Right, this bit here. I want you electricaled. Electricize it. Is it electricized already? And you're just you're just spinning me a line. All right, let's pause. Uh, hit that. Kill it. There we go. Yeah, and that, and this. Right. And why exactly is that? Does that not exist anymore? I don't believe I gave you the instruction to remove that one. That's uh, it's very cheeky of you. All right, bang that in. There you go. Uh, bang this in as well. There you go. I don't think we need a crossover there. Oh, hold on. Yes, we definitely do need a crossover because that's a that's a backing service. It's not a backing service. Might be a backing service. In which case, we'll just fling that in on there, just to be on the safe side. Uh, right, onwards. Uh, back to upgrades. Magic upgrade button action here. Nice bit of diamond crossing going on here. Very nice. Uh, good. Yep, thank you. And keep going. Uh, now, if we get this... If, uh, you know, I say we. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm roping you in. You're, you're accomplices. Uh, if we get this bit right, uh, then we should see a healthy turnaround in terms of... Uh, of getting things moving a little bit quicker and making a bit of money 
and uh, and the side benefit there will be that uh, uh, we should see a slightly better return on each unit that we deliver because we'll be going at a slightly faster speed. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Right. So you are our our premium our premium service here, and you're only running uh, three quarters full. So I think we tell the other one to get sold, and we'll upgrade this to uh, to transport up to twice as much, uh, which is better, twice as much or twice the frequency. Twice as much is better. You're running empty again. Find yourself a nice depot and retire. Yeah, I know. You don't really want to, but you're going to. Right, and then you... Right, we were shipping 120. Uh, what can we do now? We can run electrics. And a crocodile does 47. Plenty uh, for the current era. I mean, the 4.7 is a lot quicker, but uh, but a crocodile will suffice. It's not expensive. Plus, it's a crocodile, and I like the crocodile quite a lot. And that's all the justification you need. Right, so uh, let's go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, that's 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 120. No, it's 160. And you're a clown. Okay, yeah, all right, fine. And that's going to cost me 10 million quid. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll stick to replace now, which is going to cost me 4 million, because obviously there's some equity still remaining in that train. Uh, so that's 160 up from 140, and it should go... Well, actually, it, I'm not sure it will go any faster. But it should be a bit more consistent in terms of the speed it does do, because that's going downhill at the moment. Right, that's that. Now, let's change up the route. So, at the moment, we stop at Ilkey Central on the way back. And uh, we're, there's no sense in us doing that anymore. So, let's let's just tell it not to bother. We'll go Horms, Horms, Hormsy Yarn, which I'm sure makes sense uh, in terms of, of where it's going. And then, in order to keep our productivity as high as possible, we're going to add some trucks on here. Because... What's missing is the opportunity to, you know, make a bit more bank by shipping to a few more places. Uh, let's get this as far away from the station as possible. No, not the station. No, 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 it's the manufacturing yard. All right, well, we'll bung that in there. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is going to be uh, tool. No, yes, tool production. Sexy names need not apply while we're being very businesslike here. Uh, so where are we going to deliver to? I mean, Burglar Marsh is not out of the question. Swinton is certainly doable, and Yarm is also doable. That's three, three, count them on both hands. Uh, three opportunities to uh, to up production. Now, upping production itself is not uh, is not going to get the job done, but uh, eventually it will lead to a situation where we can afford to put in uh, more trains and uh, and greater delivery capacity. Here comes an injection of cash. What did you actually pay off there? I'm suspecting it was quite decent. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a quick look. I think that was three and a half million quid from that one delivery. So, you know, there's, there's cash in them there hills. And, uh, and therefore, we should, uh, we should do something about that. Right, three, please. Uh, right, so from here to haven't plumbed anything in. Now, tools are delivered to the commercial district, so we'll bung in. Uh, a cheap and uh, cheap and cheerful passenger drop-off point. Yeah, I know. I've I've totally abandoned my principles in that regard. Uh, yep, one in Yarm. There you go, and uh, one in your Swinton here. Yeah, and uh, and at last one in Burglamarsh, which is fun to say. Uh, right, bang it in there. Yep, I don't even care which side of the road it's on. The trucks will figure it out. Uh, so, uh, line three, you can go from there out to here. Good. Uh, this is going to be uh, CF uh, Berg uh, Tools. Right, and then number two is going to be a similar kind of an idea. And like so. And that's going to be CF, whatever that is, Swinton. Swinton Tools. Hmm. And then the last one in, the, uh, in this particular lineup, it's going to be 
that one there. Now, I could probably put in a bit of a bypass route there to uh, to get the trucks rolling out to Burglemarsh a little bit quicker, but uh, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, that is, what's what's that place called? Can't remember. All right, okay, you were only talking about it a minute. It's a Yarm. Oh, right, okay. So it's a CF, CF, because that's, that's what some people call you. Yarm Tools. Magical. Right, now then, what do you need? You want three, you want three you want four that'll do for starters all right uh by road vehicles one two three send you to swinto all right buy another three one two three you go to uh to yarm and then buy another three one two three you go to Bur no wait four four you got a burg Right. Now, I'm going to make one more tweak here, and brace yourselves, because it's one that I don't very often do, and that is, I'm going to command them to wait until somewhat full. Uh, full load any. And we'll, yeah, three minutes will be absolutely fine. Now, this is going to let, this is going to lead to some queuing here, uh, but it should only be temporary queuing. Now, the reason that I don't like to do this is because there is ever such a slight risk, by which I mean there's a risk, uh, that uh, that you end up with this, where where truck number one is waiting for stuff to happen and everything else is just backed up behind it. But what it does mean is that we're not running them empty uh, because in doing so it means that we've got longer to wait before they can actually make me any cash. I'm going to also do the same with our electric train here because if there are no planks waiting, I want it to, to sit around for a couple of minutes uh, just until there is uh, there is some hope of uh, of, of profit, right? Um, now I'm gonna have a quick look at. Yeah, that's okay. No, no, that's fine. I'd, I'd anticipated that it would actually be completely wonky, but it's not. Now, now, what are you? There's a new vehicle available. Well, when we're not really in the market for one right now. What? What? You're the emergency wood road. Okay. Uh, emergency wood road sounds to me like the cannibalization route yeah okay so we're also bringing in uh <laughs> we're bringing in lumber from hainer and losco uh which is a, a cop series not to be not to be missed out on uh finances you occasionally make a bit of money as well not in the last couple of years but you, you have been known to make some cash oh that's that's delightful but what we're going to do uh is uh, we're going to close you down uh, where are we? Emergency Wood Road. I mean, you're losing money overall anyway, so how about you lot all go get sold, and then we'll uh, we'll close that down. Because that's it's undermining the the products being uh, being developed by our uh, by our original original put me teeth in uh, my original lumber route, and that 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 will not do. Uh, we we will not satisfy ourselves with with that kind of thing. Um, we want everything to be coming down this one rail uh, route. And then by doing it that way, the, the benefit we get is that we can run more trains down there. And you've seen already the level of profit that you can get out of these things. Why would you not? Uh, right, so here is our lumber train heading back out to Yarm. It's got 88 of 180 on board. So it's uh, 160, beg your pardon. Um, so it's got a bit of a weight. Where is the next lumber train. I suspect it's here. Nope. These are passenger trains. These are both on the same route. They're different vehicles. Yeah, that's it. and that's that's why they're closing up on one another is because uh, vehicularly they are the... Ooh, and we're, we're burning the cash here. So uh, let's replace this with something a little bit more uh, a little bit quicker. Now, we could go Flying Scotsman, but that, I mean, that's four million quid. I mean, we could go all the way to the... Just give me... Uh, steam. Yes. Locos. So the A4 is, uh, is, is plenty fast, but I'm going to need two of them, and, uh, and plus the associated wagons. Scotsman is 75 miles per hour. This does... The, the, the 3.5. I mean, it's older now. But you know what else it is? It's affordable. So let's get that going. Hold on, I can't remember what speed it is. I think it's 62. 62 is what it does. So we'll find the 62 wagon. Oh, crumbs, that's not cheap. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
they've got 66 capacity at the moment. So that takes us to 56. That should be 70. Do we want to do one more? No, I think that's I think that'll probably suffice. Uh, right, let's switch that on. And, uh, and then we might need to do a little bit of manual spacing here. So if I tell you to hold your horses there for a moment. As soon as you turn around, that is. Turn, turn around as soon as you please. Right, wait there. And what we're going to wait to do is we're going to wait for this chap to arrive into Tidworth, which I shall do by applying the super accelerator there. The other benefit we're going to get from this, of course, is that this chap who is currently struggling to do 12 miles per hour will struggle to do a little bit more than that. And, uh, and therefore, we should get a little bit quicker turnaround and, uh, and generate a little bit more cash in the process. Right, what are you hauling? There you go. Wood to planks. Now, you will notice that there is an imbalance at the moment. If we're picking up 160 lumber every time we turn up, um, let's say, let's call it planks, right? We're picking up 160 lumber, planks. Oh, for crying out loud. Put your brain in gear. All right, let's try second gear. If this is delivering, very well done, 100 and... Uh, yeah, you're wrong again. If you're picking up... 160 planks from this station. Good, we're on a roll. But you're only delivering 88 at a time. You're going to have a period where you're not making enough and, and that kind of business. So I need to replace this as well, which means I want to electrify that too. Uh, where are you up to? Are you anywhere near Tidworth? Because what's this bypassing area of? Who are you trying to over... Is, is that an overtaking line there? I suspect it might well be. No, hold on. It's, it actually serves no purpose. All right, slow it down. Let's let's go get shot of that. Yeah, because I mean it's crazy, uh, but ultimately it just serves to to slow the train down. There you go. That's it. Keep a rolling. And what's what's this signal all about? Because that's that's just in the wrong place. Let's let's move that too. Now there's nothing wrong with any of this, of course. What I suspect we saw there was a bit of single track originally. Uh, that has been upgraded over the years uh, and that that bit of signal was there to uh, to help manage the single track rail but the critical thing is when you're doing an upgrade is actually upgrade the whole line don't, don't skip bits of it and of course I'm a massive hypocrite for saying that because I routinely skip loads um, but uh, yeah the important thing is you know it's got to be able to run uh, effectively right you're heading up to Tidworth Annex now, the other benefit we get by speeding up these passenger trains, because all of this is shared, so here comes my goods train now, uh, is that uh, everything slows down for Tidworth, which is a common phrase. Are you there? You're there. Right, you're turned around, you're upgraded. Let's set them both in motion. And then, uh, then they'll maximise. Now, I don't think they're going to pay off that brilliantly, to be honest, because um, many reasons. Uh, we've got another train expired. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to pay off that greatly because we haven't quite got the passenger demand going yet. But, you know, if we give it a bit of time... Well, I don't know, saying that... No, 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 I mean, if we did have some faith. I think it'll, I think it'll be all right. Right, we've got another goods train about to arrive, and that's a good thing. But I want to now upgrade this to be uh, as heavy hauling and electric as the previous one. But I also want to get past the uh, the passenger station here, <clears throat> so that we don't get bogged down in any uh, any passenger line kind of behaviour going on. So if I were to ease this out around here, I mean zipping under. Look, if I were to zip under here, no, 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 no. get round the corner. I have got round the corner. Thirty five is completely fine. Do that there. Now, if we were to head out to about here, that's a million of your quid. That is that is not working. Oh, whoa, 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 there. Okay, no, that's good. That's 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 acceptable. Now we have veered out this way a little bit, but the uh, the time we save in not slowing down. And yes, you're right. I did just put in a Cavalier level crossing. It's the kind of thing I never do, but have done. Uh, the world is gone topsy turvy, friends. Uh, right, bang that on there, and then uh, you uh, you keep going. 
and we're not uh, we're not quite gaining altitude at the same at the kind of speed that we need to though because this is all gently heading uphill oh that's okay what's what's this where are you going no no i'm i'm interested where are you headed you're heading out to uh, out to there. Well, look, I'm in the area. Let's let's do you a solid and, and upgrade you to the latest in technology. So how you feel about that? Replace it now. Half a million. Oh, I'd rather not spend it, but I think the uh, the profits that we make as a result of that will be uh, will be more than enough to cover the uh, the costs. Yeah, I know. I seven seven a main connection. Well, it's it's the kind of thing I like to do. Right, keep coming around here. Put the road back in before that nice bus that you just bought goes, oh, woe is me. I cannot fulfill my uh, my busly destiny. I kind of go, don't, don't you worry there, little friend. I've got you covered. And uh, we'll, we'll put in a cheeky bridge. 177k. It was 112k to go without a bridge. All right, let's, let's put it in a bit. There you go. See? That's, that's perfectly, perfectly lovely. Right, okay, there's, there goes my new passenger train. Look, uh, looks the part, doesn't it? Well, it does when you're rolling at very high speed, but uh, hush, it's, uh, it's all fine. Now then, we'll roll this down and we'll keep it parallel for a bit because obviously the less time we spend uh, sharing track with those passenger johnnies, the, uh, the better we'll be. Uh, so, let's bull, bulldoze both of those. And then, uh, and then run you out to uh, about here, about 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 yeah, about there. Why why won't you? It's because it wasn't quite snapped there. All right, well fine. And then uh, we'll double slip the switch there, and we'll put in a bit of signal action, and everything will be absolutely brilliant. Uh, we'll put a bit of signal action here. We'll put a bit of signal action there, and we'll put another bit of signal action right about there too. That's uh, as she flies. Uh, right now then, let's have a look and see if uh, see if it got with the program and used that straight away. Boom shakalaka! Yes, it did. The only thing it didn't do was decide to do it both ways. Yeah, well, we'll we'll soon change that, won't we? Uh, I didn't set that to one way or anything, did I? No, I just missed it. It's gone. Look. Um, okay. Well, look. That's that's yeah. That's fine. We just need to stick a quick waypoint in there. Now, actually, we don't even need to do that. I can uh, I can do that off the back of yellow, yellow wood planks is yellow. Well, that's that's no good because that's the same color as as a passenger train somewhere. I'm gonna make it pink, right? And then Tidworth Tidworth signal one. I bet that's causing a problem. Okay, so it wasn't causing the problem. Uh, well, we'll get over it. Uh, where are we going? Tid Tidworth Annex comes out that way hitting this one and then after hitting Hornsey this is where you want it to happen you want to go via that there you go right and then we clear the passenger station up to be used by passengers only without any stinky old freight trains running through it perfect actually these two are starting to bunch up a little bit as well and I suspect that is uh, that's another byproduct of um, uh, of me running freight trains on the main line because uh, if stuff gets held up behind a freight train, then, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that's going to happen. But we're going to upgrade it. Now, if I can afford to upgrade this one to some uh, much faster electric, then uh, then life will be very nice indeed. Uh, because obviously these, these passenger trains do have a top speed of 62. So we want something that is not massively slower than 62, or we're going to be holding them up. Would you mind? Thank you. Right, good. Uh, but the good thing to see is that the bank balance is increasing. That's that's not a bad place to start. Uh, what I should have looked at was the profit situation when we kicked off. Uh, I did look at it. I just didn't show you. So you can you're going to need to take my word for this. When we kicked off, friends, uh, the uh, uh, the profit situation wasn't good. In the previous year, we'd made three million quid in profit which it's modest but it's fine any profit is good uh but in the year that we were operating we were down two million quid so it was highly dependent on uh, on the years where deliveries were actually being made yeah you see this is this is why this is worthwhile look i still running half full right let's go and find our our merry train here merry train 
No, it's it left recently. Is that it? No, that's that's a passenger train, as you jolly well know. Is that it? Oh, that's that's passengers. I think this is probably it. This passenger train, I suspect, is coming up behind it. Yep, there we go. Right, thirty-eight miles per hour. We can do better than that, and we can sh we can shovel more of it as well. Wood planks there. Uh, now I noticed that it had actually been booked to have the three five on it, which uh, it, it might have worked a little, but not a great deal because the three five is far better suited to running uh, with. Uh, yeah, with passengers than it is freight. The reason for that, and someone told me that if a train has got a mixture of big and little wheels, then it is going to be a fast one, versus if it's got all wheels the same kind of size, then it is more suited to doing uh, freight. That's what I was told, and so far it does actually appear to be, you know, relatively accurate. Now then, how do you compare Mr. 47? 3,000 horse, 44 foot-pounds of uh, tractive effort. Okay. 1,033. So this is... It's more grunty. Not as grunty as that one, though. That's way more grunty. Yeah, but... Yes, what? It's only got a top speed of 56. This has a top speed of 62. Which is all well and good if you can get there. But if you can't get there, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good. It's cheaper. Shut up. We'll take it. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll flog it again and buddy upgrade. So we want 20 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hope we get some return from the train that's on there now. I have to pay 10 million quid. Well, let's call it what it is. 11 million quid. Uh, but that will turn that one round as well. Now then, that should yield a, uh, a a splendid amount of money let's have an actual look at this now and uh, and see how we're doing so if we back it up to 38 we started in 35 what we're looking for here is changes in income so as you can see the swing between uh 13.8 coming in and then the following year 8.3 now that's a measure of just how long the route is and just how slow the trains are um the final year we did 15, I think that's the first signs of a little bit of uh, of improvement. And you'll notice the tick up in road there. That's going to be road deliveries of freight uh, that were kicking off down by Yarm. Uh, but what we would hope to see is an increase both in rail revenue and in uh, and in road revenue as well. Um, now, I'd be inclined to start, in fact, we'll, we'll start doing this now until I, until I spend the next chunk of change. Uh, we'll uh, we'll start bringing the costs down, but the next thing that we can do to actually improve matters is because uh, we're not actually delivering anything to Ilky now, and he's sat there looking all sad, going, "I I have no reason to exist." No, it's very sad for you. These two trucks. In fact, I might flog you because the only thing really to do would be to have a designated train, a dedicated train, bring this back up again. Now, if you're using something like the Naffy State Cars, then uh, then you can just cheat your way to victory. No, Dist, Ilky, you're uh, fired, I'm afraid to say. Sorry about that. Dist, Ilky, get sold. Yeah, I don't know how far away it is, but you'll figure it out. And then uh, deleted. Okay. I mean, on the positive side, however, the Hornsey Commuter can have an upgrade. Uh, let's put the uh, the Sora on that. There you go. That's nice. Uh, also, the the Yately commuter is just a little on the old side as well. So, hold on. The Yately commuter is nicely making any money. Do we want to go fix it? We possibly want to go fix it. Or should we just leave well enough alone, given that it's losing us very little money at all? I'll leave it alone. Let's focus on the single job that we've got at hand. There's another two million quid in the bank. That's... That's nice to see. Oh, hold on. What we got going on here? Wood planks has got a problem. What's the problem? What? Could not connect all the stations. I bet that's a platform kind of a dig gig. Uh, if I do that, still can't do it. Okay, Hornsey South is where? No, wait. Tidworth and X. Tidworth and X is here. Is not electrified. Okay, all right, that's fine. I'll fix it. Don't you sweat. I've got you. Uh, I've, I've just forgotten to uh, to do that. Uh, train eight is saying, oh, I ain't got any electrics, mate. No electrics. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Work yourself out. Off your trot. 
There you go. So it was, it was all fine. I possibly should have spotted that a little bit quicker, but I didn't. But I spotted what I spotted. Anyway, we are now hauling 138 of 160. So this is going to be a payload that is, is worth a lot. Now, we're capable of 62. It's obviously going to take a little while to get up to anything like that speed. But if we do, then, uh, then all is well. I think this might be a smidge underpowered and that I should probably switch to the more expensive train if I can afford it. Can't see anything because of the amount of smoke going on. Also, we need a signal on here because right now you are booked. Oh no, we've got one. We've got a little electric job there. Um, I was going to say because we're... Oh! Oh, not a good place. <laughs> not a good place for a signal, that one. No. No, no. All right. Okay, look. Let's uh, get this chap out of the way. Because what what happened there, he stopped at the signal, blocked off the points. No, 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 you're not allowed to do that. Uh, for two reasons. Firstly, it's just not a good idea. Uh, secondly, everyone in your comments is going to say, oh my goodness, I have never seen as bad a signal placement as that. And you kind of go, eh, it's fine. And they go, eh, no, it's not. Uh, because... If you block off the points there and you've got a passenger train coming the other way, you can't go anywhere. So what you try and do is you hold your trains before they get to the points so that other people can go through them. Now, obviously, the caveat to that rule is uh, if there is going to be nobody waiting for you to come through the points, then block them as much as you please. But you're still limiting yourself choices-wise later on. How are you doing? Top speed, 62. Perfect. Loving it. That's uh, that's working out very nicely. Four million in the bank. Uh, let's repay all of that because uh, obviously we can get the uh, if we can get the loan payments down a little bit. That helps as well. And uh, as ever, we can always take the money back out again and spend it a little bit more freely. Okay, so what's missing from the picture now is uh, is a little bit more on the tools delivery side. That's the next step to uh, to ultimate victory. But you want to make sure that whatever tools delivery you're doing, you're making money from it. Um, if you can make money on every step of your uh, uh, of your journey, then that's good. Uh, if, however, you're you're losing out here and there, then that's not good. Right. <laughs> there you go that is, that's the most useful thing you've ever heard i'm sure so we're coming in now how much are you going to pay off 138 it's come a fair distance you should uh, this should be quite a nice payday let's have a look and five and a bit million thank you very much don't mind if i do um and that is half of this that's half of last year's earnings in in one push there madness that's what that is and it also shows just how reliant you are on this on, on this one service you've got two trains that are effectively carrying your entire network so that's february let's see if you now that you're moving a little bit faster uh can make that delivery happen within the year so we're in march yes I and mean, it's not that far away surely surely this should be possible Surely, I'm going to say again, surely this should work out. The other benefit, however, is we have got 160 on board. Oh, yeah. And that means that uh, that we're going to be setting up the incoming uh, plank service for, uh, for a full pickup there. And that will be, uh, that will be jolly nice. But uh, it's got to happen first. Where are we? May. I've no idea where it is. I jumped straight ahead. I didn't bother following it. But I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure we're going to arrive in plenty of time. I'm very sure that that's what's going to happen. I mean, near near total certainty as it hits June uh, that you're going to arrive before the end of the year. Because if that's the case, then, uh, then there's a very solid argument for this making two drop-offs a year, which will get us close to the kind of the, the 20 million rail income per year which is what we're kind of hoping for. Right, he's waiting for some pickup. Here comes the train. It is the tail end of July. This is going to be very nice. Just hold on. Hold on there, Mr. Croc. Because it is payday. There we go. 6.2 million in there. That takes us to 9 million profit for the year. 
which is excellent. If you want to, if you want to load some more planks, you know that's all good. And if you just want to wait for them to be processed, I mean that's, I mean it's less good. Let's keep repaying. Uh, but you know, just you might roll out. Come on, they're in there. Take them away. Push, uh, push the button. Make it happen. Activate. Um, make good decisions. And hit the road. And off we go. And where did all those planks go? That's, actually, that's the, that's the pertinent question there. You came in with 160 planks. He hasn't gotten them. Where are they gone? Who's, who's nicked me planks? Details. No, you've got nothing. That chart. No, nothing in there. No, someone's someone's absconded with my planks. That's strange. Yeah, that is strange. Yeah, that's a bit odd. It is rather, isn't it? No, that's that's. I've not seen that before. Did I did I misunderstand what just occurred? Uh, it wouldn't be the first time you understand, but uh, yeah, um, oh, I, I don't know what to tell you, or indeed what to think, um, but there it is. Right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Now, the objective here was, was a relatively straightforward one, and that was to, uh, uh, to make this less than profitable line a little bit more profitable, and we've, we've done that. We've kind of turned the corner on it, and it was—it's a, a, a pretty simple fix. As much as I've been, you know, hammering away here for 45 minutes, um, not the most complicated of things to fix. It's simply about don't let anything get slowed down. Having really slow old trains on a service can do you untold harm, um, and that's not good. Uh, so, uh, so the, the the goal has to be. To, uh, to keep things flowing as, uh, as smoothly as possible. Obviously, if you can avoid level crossings, I, don't, I heartily recommend you do so. But that's, that's entirely optional. Um, but the goal has to be to balance out so you don't have rich year, poor year, rich year, poor year. If we can get kind of 10, 12 million plus on the income side of things every year, then it, it kind of works out. From there on in, it's all about expansion. So what we'd be looking for... Whoa, hold on, you're new. Did I not notice you before? No, mate, I'm just here eating up all your money. I see. Okay. Well, okay, we are still delivering to Ilkey. And, uh, and therefore, me having closed down the Ilkey distribution truck, I didn't clock that. Somehow he managed to stealth his way through. Uh, the Ilkey distribution truck, I would say, is going to be quite necessary. Although, saying that, get sold. Um... Yeah. Okay. Well, that will that will help the profit situation a little bit more. Oh yeah. I always do. Always do a thorough survey, a survey of the landscape before you get started. Um, but yeah, the next step is very straightforward. It's it's uh, where do we maximise uh, further profits from this line? Now, bizarrely, it's just not producing that much. We're, we're distributing to three towns. And the demand there should be such that we can keep all of this going quite nicely. But I suspect production here is negligible. Yeah, 30 a year. Not to mention the fact that you need to deliver two of these just to make one unit of tools coming out the other end. It's not very efficient. Um, and therefore, it's yeah, just working off planks is not a great way to go. Although, it's making a nice amount of money. So you can certainly use it as a, as a get started kind of a route. Personally, if I'm getting started with goods, I always go for either food, which is good fun, or oil, which is good fun, or construction materials, which is good fun, and also easy. Uh, let's find one. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, look, I'll tell you what, I'm going to build one for you now, and, uh, and then you'll see that in action. So here we've got a food producer. We've got one, two, three potential delivery points. Now, if we've got a farm which we do over here near Pontiland. Now, what's the route going to be? It looks like it's going to be hammering straight through that mountain, which doesn't really suit me. Find another food production place. We're looking for cheap, right? Look at this. Doesn't get much easier than this, though, does it? I mean, we don't even need a train for this. This is a piece of... This is a walk in the flipping park. 
Uh, and then when we wanted to make a bit more money out of it, we hammer through the mountain and hit this farm instead. But on the cheap, we can go through here. So, first off, let's slow it down a little bit. We're going at quite a, a brisk pace here. Is uh, from this junction here, we're going to just very inexpensively run in a straight line uh, a four-lane superhighway. Yeah, I know. We could we could do this on the cheap by carefully measuring out the land and doing it cleverly, or we could just massively plough it through there. That way it's not getting stuck in the middle of town by all these clowns. Uh, right, next up, a couple of these. Uh, yep, okay. Now, the reason we're doing this is, uh, is fairly straightforward. Is uh, It's a money printer. And a really quick one, too. Now, using trains will print your money a little bit faster, but your running costs go up at, in, at the same time. So if you're trying to dig your way out of a, a fiscal hole, uh, then, then what you really want here is, is quick, cheap, and, uh, you know, generally quite effective. So food is delivered to commercial, so Chester Road will do nicely. Uh, Tidworth is another good one that's already set up. Where's me blue? I guess this bit is probably the best one. Actually, that gets good coverage as well. So we've already got the stops set up there. Do we have a third? Harrogate at a push would be the third. It's a little bit further away than is ideal. You'd need to put quite a few trains on there. Uh, you'd quite a few trucks on there to make that work. Uh, but we'll go with two uh, to start with. So we'll go uh, one, two, three routes like that. Uh, number one is going to be this one to this one. So that's food production. Uh, CF food prod. Uh, we'll do this one, which is going to be Bedale. Uh, yep, from there to here. Uh, CF food deliver. And then we'll do one more, which is this one. Now, I mean, I find three town delivery to be the sweet spot. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on how you play things, but the way I tend to do things, three towns being delivered to tends to be enough to get the job done. Uh, food deliver. There we go. Right, now then, we're going to need a depot. I bulldozed one that was fairly nearby earlier. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Do I care that much? Nah. Right, and then uh, road vehicles. So you're going to need twice as many road... Okay, look. What we could do here, I might have, I might have done an excessive is we could go like this to here through town back out reload yeah that's much better isn't it so we don't need uh bed ale is it bed ale bed ale west to chester road yeah don't need that one uh, what we do need is we need to adjust this so from west we then head to here like that okay fine so this is actually only quick in one direction ah it's it's not the end of the world. Um, right, bung a bunch of trucks on that. I'm going to say 10. Yeah, I know. I'm not kidding. 10. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Set you onto CF Food Prod. Go. Right, and then... Uh, yep, that's done. And then this one. Now, it's going to take a little while to get up to full ramming speed, but that 10 might feel excessive. It's not. It's it's only moderately excessive, and on here we'll stick another five, four, five. Uh, set you onto food deliver, which is kind of green. They're both kind of green. Is it the pale? Uh, just change the colour. Purpley. All right. Set line. Purpley food deliver. There you go. Right. Okay, I will now advance the game by, oh, let's say 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, somewhere in that region, and let's see how we're doing. Right then, I've ripped us forward by, uh, by about 10 minutes at high speed, and that has taken us to 13 years beyond where we started. We've got 46 million quid in the bank and no loan. Mmm, that's nice. Uh, we're also approaching 20 million in, pro in, in income. Uh, per year, which isn't so bad. Uh, in 46, I made a train replacement, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, but as you can see, the old uh, food line here is, uh, well, it's pretty happy. Uh, we could double up the number of uh, trucks that we're running on here with no problem whatsoever and make even more cash, which is super duper. We could go one stage further than that, of course, and, uh, and stick a rail line in here. 
Oh, hold on now. You see, you're, you're getting ambitious with things. Uh, this was supposed to be a quick episode, incidentally, because it was quite a straightforward fix. But uh, but all I'm seeing now is the ambition to uh, to do more more dramatic things with it. Interesting idea. Okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, I've just had an interesting idea. Right, the Peninsula series is dead. Stuff it. I'm going to run Modless and see if I can't finish off the rest of the achievements I haven't got. Well, that'll be fun. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, yeah, so we could run a train line from here to Harrogate, but what we'd really want is a field set nearby. Oh, no, we put the station in here. You deliver to both Bromyard and Harrogate. Swoop around the outside. You've also got... We can, we can make a bit of plastic here. That could be fun. Um, don't know what we'd do with it. Uh, build ourselves a little Lego playground, perhaps. Um, but yeah, rip that around here out to the food production system we've got there. Cancel that. That's That would be deprecated at that point. Put a flipping great train on. Maybe Ah, no, put your station... This, We've got the money. Hang on, I'm going to build it. No, you see, I've got nowhere else to be. That's, uh, no, you see, it takes ages to do preparation for for an episode of flipping, whatchamacallit, uh, Peninsula, but this, no, we're just, we're just going to wang straight in here. Okay, so we want nice and long, uh, catenary almost certainly. Bulldoze this. All right, this is probably going to be the fastest thing I've ever built in my entire life. Now, we want direct connection with the food. Ooh, which is going to be the best way, actually. Rather than use that, use this. Uh, spin that around so it's doing something like... Get out of my way. Uh, whack this in here. Yes. Are you, uh, you in catchment? Are you? Are you catching? You should be. You should be catching. Now, the catch is there, which is typical, because I'm going to need to fiddle with the terrain. Are uh, you annoying... Annoying wretch of a thing. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we'll make that work. Right, give me this. Uh, give me that. Yeah. Uh, just uh, just whack a bit of bit of down scope here. A little bit there. A little bit here. Right. And then grab this and slide it in about... Go on, you can do it. You can do it. Actually, we can do it wherever it will work here. I don't care about removing the field. Just need to do that bit a bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, how's that? Go on, that should do it. Go on, you should be able to. You should be able to handle that. Oh, for crying out loud! This was supposed to be really quick. All right, go more aggressive. Up the tempo. Do a bit of that. Whap all of this around like you mean business. Yeah, consider yourself whapped. Uh, smooth it some. There you go. And then uh, hammer this in like that. Go on. Got that's it. There you go. You'll fit in there. Just like that. Right. Okay. Smash it. Grab this. Grab that. Do this. Do that. Boom. All right. And then uh, you're going to need a truck stop in here. Let's do that now so that we've got it. Yeah. All right. This. And something like that. All right. Good. And then uh, bang that road back in. Otherwise, everybody's going to be disappointed in you. Uh, we'll, we'll even go for a bit of large road. Yeah, I'm spending it. Uh, around the corner, around the corner, marvellous. Uh, Bromyard is delivery one. We're going to get another delivery to Harrogate. It's a bit of a trek, but it's actually not that far, so that'll be fine. Now then, we grab the track, obviously, track, obviously, high speed, whatever, and then we'll go straight through the mountain. Oh, expensive. Okay. <laughs> oh, very expensive. Yeah, uh, to about there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can afford it. Uh, we're heading for... No, where are we heading for? We're heading for that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 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 it'll be, it'll, it'll be all right. Is this the best way to go? Yeah, well, arguably, coming out here, hooking onto this, and then parting off around there would be the best way to go, but you've still got to cross over the, the passenger tracks. So let's just take that. We're, we're doing quick and filthy, so... Uh, Let's uh, let's do this. Right, here we go. Quick and quick and filthy. Eighty grand. What a bargain. Uh, and then, what do you think? Up and over. I reckon so. Do that. Uh, up. One more. And again. And again. And again. And again. That's your lot. Okay. Maybe a smidge optimistic there with regard to the amount of altitude that could be gained. 
right, okay, we'll go the other way. Because uh, that's how uh, that's how the, the pros do it. And it's close. Okay, all right, do option three. All right, okay, preload a bit of altitude. Uh, is that enough? Yep, okay, cool. That's got that set right. That we need to back it up a bit, but we'll get we'll get the uh, we'll get the alignment on there. Actually, ping it out this way a bit. There you go. Then you'll need to do a minimum amount, minimal amount. Make it red. Have done. That's all good. Right. Bang that back a bit, and then connect up. Connect up. There we are. Super. And then uh, whap this all the way up there next to that. Right. A bit of road readjustment here wouldn't go amiss. Yeah, you can all just panic for a minute or two. It's okay. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm a trained professional. I'm also a train professional. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Um, right. And then what? Where do you want to stick this? I want to stick it somewhere convincing. Uh, will you align? Go for somewhere where it does align and then make it work. All right. Okay. Yeah, two fields will be removed. It's going to cost you a million quid. Where's, where's, the, where's the train track that's coming in? Oh, it's miles away. It could be anywhere. Okay, well, if you say so. Um, you are still going to need to be able to connect up to the actual farm type deal here. Obviously, I can't build a bendy track because that's a, that's a mod we don't have. Which is a shame. Um, but uh, but that's okay. Uh, you just Would you please uh, delete some more? Right. Can we now get this in here? If I twizzle it strategically, which is the only way to twizzle. Come on, there must be a there must be a hook up on here somewhere. Are you joking? Are you I can't not flipping. Hold on, try this. Right, there you go. Look. And that right about there. That'll do perfectly. That'll that'll sort us right out. Uh, get the medium crunchy road in, bang that on there, check you've got catchment. If it doesn't, I'd be amazed. There we are, smashing. And then uh, whack this. What do you mean terrain alignment collision? I, I think that's highly unlikely. What do you mean terrain? Not possible. Don't talk rot. Do that, and then do the track first. High speed, yes please. Uh, and I think it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Was it? Wasn't it? Yeah, it's over there, look. All right, okay. Go go straight there. How much is that going to cost? Six million quid. It's a lot, but uh, but it's not it's not too much. Hold on. There we go. Do that. Three million quid. Bargain. Sold. Right. Yeah, okay. That looks all right. And then uh, let's get you back cheerful again. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, it's not. It's gone over the top, look. See? Look, that's classy. Uh, how it was meant to be. Then we'll do that there like that. And that's them all happy again. No flashing messages for me. No siree, Bob. Uh, right, and then I just need a banger. Ooh, a depot of some kind. In, ooh, anywhere. Okay, did you electrify? I did, because I was thinking ahead. You weren't, you were lucky. You had it set to electrification already. Uh, let's plop that in here. And then, uh, see, I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to make that uh, the parallel to the main track. I'm just... Just flinging it. Right, good. And then we want a train. Thank you. This is going to make so much money. It's uh, it's not even not even funny how much money this is going to make. Uh, from Bromley Winslow to the, uh, the old annex there. Now then, we're going to want to transport cattle only because that way we can take food back with us. If you do if you do grain and cattle, you don't get you don't get anything good from that. Uh, let's call it something good. Uh, CF food wildebeest because uh, that's how much money it's going to make is a wildebeest level of money. Uh, right, buy trains. I want uh, Mr. Super Duper Electric if I can afford it. You've got twenty five million quid. You can afford it. All right, buy that. Yeah, you sure? Only does fifty six. The four seven is quicker. Well, I've got nothing. I've got. Oh, hold on. What about the four four? That's only two and a half thousand uh, of your horsepowers there. Yes. No. Let's go with this, right? Because the grunt that it has 
is uh, is going to be sufficient that I can stick a, a, an absolute ton of wagons on the back of it. Uh, right. Uh, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That'll do for now. 30 wagons. Yeah, I should Coco. Let's uh, let's have it. Right, get you in motion. Now, that's going to take a minute or two to uh, to percolate. And then we change up uh, the original here so that... Uh, where are we? CF Food Prod becomes... Uh, yeah, what? What does it become? Come on, we're on tenterhooks. What, what, does it, uh, what does it turn into? You're going to need to go from B-Dale West... Two ah, hold on. You haven't. You maybe haven't thought this through. No, you haven't. Uh, okay, <laughs> you're connected up to the wrong bit, there, son. What you wanted to do was connect up to this one. Ah, yeah, your station's in the wrong place. So you went really quick there, and and as a result, you've you've maybe got this very wrong. Well, this is going to be exciting, then, isn't it? Let's see what happens. No, I'm all about. Let's see what happens now. You're still here, right? You're still watching. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, I mean, this should keep you amused for a while. Uh, right. So we need uh, two lines. Anyone else? Anyone else in range? Pontiland, maybe, if I were to stick in uh, a, a straight route. What have we got left? Eight million. Stick a straight route in, man. Get it done. Uh, what's the worst that will happen? Well, the worst that happens is we go bankrupt. And then this this episode of Fix It ends up with me going like, well, I didn't quite... F I, I fixed it right up until the point that I didn't. Yeah, okay, so it's a million quid. It's worth it. Um, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Zoom in to build. Oh, crikey. All uh, right, keep going. Yeah. Oh, yes. There you go. Seven and a half million quid. I can afford that, surely. Six and a bit. This is the point where wiggling around a little bit gives you some options. Come on, give me another quote. I need about a million quid for some trucks. Just FYI, I'll tell you what I've got, though. I've got some loan. Yeah, we'll borrow some of that, and uh, and then we'll bang this straight onto the end of that. It's 11 million. No, no, you were you were quoting me seven a minute ago. I'll take that instead. There you are. Have that. Bang it on there. Marvellous. Right, we need somewhere in the catchment radius of your commercial... Incidentally, this is this is not how you really should be playing the game for maximum efficiency. No, it's it just isn't. But uh, tell you what, it is though. It's uh, it's quite good fun. Right now then, give me three, and that close this, close that. Yeah, you might have to have a, another rethink in a minute. Uh, we'll go from this one here out to Pontiland because uh, I'm a believer. Right, so this is uh, uh, C.F. Pontiland, which is an odd name. Someone probably lives there. Do you live there? Is it a strange place? We need to know. Uh, by road vehicles. Hello there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or to cut it. Pontiland. Go. All right, that's that one dealt with. Uh, next. Uh, this one is going to go out here to whatever this is, Bromyard Wimslow. Uh, I know it's. I know you think it's pronounced Wilmslow, but people who live there will let you know quite quite quickly that Wimslow is how they prefer prefer to announce uh, pronounce it. Don't know why, because that's clearly wrong. But uh, I'd never argue with the locals, uh, right? And uh, you can have three. All right, there we go. One, two, three. Set you on something Wimslow-ish. I didn't even bother renaming it. My goodness me, I'm, I'm lacklustre. Uh, CF. See, because it should be, you know, Wimslow, like that. But, uh, you know, there it is. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and then our third line here is going out to this place here, which is Harrogate's. Have we got anywhere in Harrogate already? No, we don't. Let's bang one in. Now there will do. Not even measuring it up at all. Just flinging stuff in there. Well, look, we've got a goat waiting to be picked up, so that's a start. Uh, right, you are CF Harrogate, Harrogate, and you need four. All right, okay, easy peasy. One, two, three, four. Two, that's only two. Two, three, three, 
Four. All right. Go to Harrogate. There you are. Smashed. Good. Up tempo. Right. We now need to return back to uh, where we were previously in order to try and make this work because this field here is going to be causing us untold trouble. Now, I could relay the track. Why have? Why did I not pay a little bit more attention just for about a second and a half? Well, you didn't. Okay, well, hold on. There is a fix here. Well, let's wait for this truck. No, no, no. You, you, well, all right, let's stop you in your tracks. Come here. You stop. A rail bus and a couple of ships. Magic. Good. Get. Come on, out. Out you go. Let's go. Here comes that. It will have. It might have something on board. You never know. Oh, it did. Look, it had a little bit on board. Right. Kill this. Kill that. And then turn this into a truck stop. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's uh, it utterly, utterly dreadful way to play the game. Very good. Uh, not least of all, because we're rubbing it in with this farmer who's going. But what was what was the problem? We were doing a fine job, weren't we? Weren't we making you stacks of cash? They're going to go, yeah, you were, but you're not making me stacks of cash anymore. Uh, no, now we're, we're doing it different. And, uh, and he's going to feel suitably aggrieved. In fact, yeah, okay, well, we might double up. So we might get some people bring bread back this way, which would allow us to double the route. This would work significantly better had I put the station here. Just FYI, I think I might have lost my grip on reality. As uh, I'm not kidding, I'll show you the Flying Scotsman because I put that into service a minute ago. There you go. Have I got a Flying Scotsman? Right, and then I'll oh, slow it down. Look, no, no, no. Stop abusing the uh, the beautiful camera angles that you're you're getting here. Uh, we made a lot of lot of money out of this. Replaced two passenger trains with one. Yeah, and uh, and the one is uh, I think it's got 100 capacity. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, but it makes an absolute stack of cash every time it arrives anywhere. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. I'm going to do one last whip forward by, let's say, two years and see if that completely cockamamie food route is doing anything of any value to anyone at all. And I'll, uh, I'll be back soon with... I've got one more fix-it lined up. And if you'd like a fix-it... Well, I suggest you uh, you submit a request via scale about uh, because uh, I don't I don't mind whose save game it is. I'll quite happily abuse it if you chuck me a tenner. Um, right there we go. Still making money. I don't know. It's uh, something something miraculous about that. Yeah, I look money making good cash. Right, where's my uh, where's my my food line? Because. Uh, I'm excited to see what the results are going to be. Are you producing? No. All right. I'll do. I'll do the, the final sequence in just a moment. All right. I've advanced it a little bit further, and it's working again. It's not working very well, but it is working. Uh, so we've got a bit of food waiting here. Um, of course, on reflection, it's not called Wilmslow at all. It's called Winslow. Uh, so, uh, so therefore, all of my blathering on about things being pronounced wrong, uh, well, uh, there you go. Winslow, that one. It's an entirely different place, which is in a completely different part of the country. Probably, I've got no real way of knowing. Um, I could look on a map, I suppose. That would, that would allow me to know. Uh, but there you go. So, uh, we've got 90-odd waiting. The train will come in in a minute. The train is verging on being profitable. Uh, once we start upping the tempo in this fashion, then everything will be absolutely peachy. Uh, still got a couple of kinks in that system to work out. The biggest one, of course being that the station is in completely the wrong place. Let's smooth that out. I don't want to look at it. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Where's the train? That's where we want to finish off. Where's the train? Here's the train. It's got eight whole food on board, look. And that's that's pretty dramatic. Well, I mean, you say that. Let's have a look at the finances. Made 700 grand profit last year, which, given that this route is completely in the wrong place... That's not bad going. Uh, I imagine we're probably losing most of that in the running costs of all the trucks that we've got going on. But production's building up. It'll get there eventually. Let's, uh, let's afterburners this bad boy and see what we get out of it. Anyway, the moral of this story... Well, there's many of them. Uh, firstly, uh, mods are likely to make you lose your save game. Uh, secondly, always be careful when you're placing a station that you've got it where you actually want it. That's a beautiful shot. 
Um, and thirdly, fewer trains that run more effectively is the route to success. This wasn't a bad tall route to begin with. This isn't a tall route at all. Uh, it wasn't a bad route. It was just a little bit cumbersome. Uh, so by stripping it back and making it more efficient, it should now produce a pretty decent amount of money. At least, that's that's what we're hoping. In fact, let's have a quick look and then I'll leave. I will definitely leave this time. Woods planks, five million. Uh, that's passenger service making four. That's another planks route making three. It'll make more than that in a minute. Uh, it's just waiting for a drop off, I would assume. Uh, food production is making half a million. Don't know how, just is. Um, <clears throat> Uh, tall delivery routes are making a couple hundred grand each. There's more money to be had here, but the, the foundation point is always the same, and that is um, keep everything as efficient as possible. Single trains, because it's the it's the uh, the locomotive is what costs you more money than three or four carriages put together or wagons, and uh, therefore you should always aim to have as few locomotives as you can get away with, with as many wagons as you can get. Right, I'll slow it down and I'll be on my way. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.